Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, once again, we will be doing the championship predictions for this weekend. All the games take place on Saturday ahead of the games in midweek for New Year's Day. So feel free to get your predictions in in the comments. Uh, there will be a comment with all of the fixtures. Just feel free to copy and paste and have a go yourself. I would really appreciate that. And if you do enjoy, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're a new visitor. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. The first game will be Birmingham versus Brentford. Now Birmingham, they are on a very, very good run themselves and are just outside the playoff spots. They're going very, very, very well indeed with three wins, one draw and just one defeat in their last five games. That one was against Bristol City. They are two points behind both Derby County and Middlesbrough in the playoff positions and they will be facing Brentford who have won just one of their last five games. However, they did pick up a very, very good point at Bristol City on uh, Boxing Day drawing one apiece. Uh, they also beat uh, Bolton in that 1-0 victory, the only win in their last five games. It hasn't gone very well for Thomas Frank's side uh, since he took over from Dean Smith who left for Aston Villa. Personally, I think Birmingham will win this one. I'm going to go 2-0 to Birmingham and a victory could, as I said, see them go into the playoffs if both uh, Derby and Middlesbrough or either of them were to drop points. So 2-0 to Birmingham next. Bolton versus Stoke. Bolton had their first win since September uh, on Boxing Day, beating Rotherham 2-1 to uh, to go on 21 points, their first win for about 10 games. An amazing, amazing achievement. They have been in terrible, terrible form. So it's great to see Bolton winning a game finally. And at any sort of point could see them go out of the uh, the relegation zone, which would be very, very good. Stoke are just outside the playoffs, 34 points. They are five points away from Derby, who are in sixth place in a victory. Could see them go up the league with such little points between them and seventh place Birmingham City. So it would be interesting to see uh, how Stoke uh, line up for this one after this 2-0 defeat to um, to Birmingham. They have had some better results in the last few weeks, picking up loads of draws and wins as well. And their bad form seems to be behind them and they're starting to make uh, some results happen. I think Stoke will go there and get the victory. I'm going to go 2-1 to Stoke and a win, as I said, could see them move as high as 7th. Um, next, we have Bristol City versus Rotherham, and Bristol City will want to put that bad result against Brentford behind them, drawing one all uh, with one of the worst teams in the in the league for form. They are currently in 12th place, and they have drawn four of their last five games. However, I would expect Bristol City to beat Rotherham. Rotherham haven't won in their last five games with two draws and three defeats. Personally, I think this is only going one way, and that is a Bristol City win. I'm going 2-0 to Bristol City, and they could also uh, move up the league. Uh, they could go into the top half with a victory. Leeds, who have won seven games in a row, everybody. Uh, I had a couple of comments being like, we've won seven games in a row, uh, six games in a row. And it's like, well, okay, okay. Right, I only, I only do it on the last five. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of comments like that. But uh, seven wins in a row, everybody. Well done to Leeds. Uh, so Leeds are top of the league after an amazing comeback against Blackburn. A 3-2 victory with two goals in stoppage time from Kimar Roof. Stealing three points from Blackburn and giving them to Leeds. After an amazing comeback once again against Aston Villa, they've done it again. Two uh, comeback wins in a row. Amazing from Leeds. They take on Hull, who are doing a lot better. Uh, four wins and one draw. I think this is going to be very, very, very tough for Leeds. Um, they're, they're looking a lot better. They're looking very poignant going forward. And they're causing a lot of teams a lot of problems. And I think this one will be very... Very tight. I don't think there'll be a lot between it. I'm going to go for a 1-0 to Leeds. I think they'll get their eighth win in a row. Um, but I think it will just, just be a 1-0 victory. I don't think there's going to be a lot between it. Hull are going very, very well in 15th and could go into uh, the top half if they won the game. Very, very tough game indeed. Ipswich 
they will be travelling to Middlesbrough. Two sides that are in totally different positions, but form-wise, very, very similar. So, just one win in the last five games for Middlesbrough. Four points picked up from 15. Uh, and it's the same story for Ipswich. Three defeats, one win and one draw in the last five games. This is going to be very hard for Ipswich. Very hard indeed. And I think Middlesbrough will win. I'll go 3-0 uh, to Middlesbrough. I think they'll have plenty to beat Ipswich. But Ipswich, they should be buoyed by their results uh, recently against Sheffield uh, Sheffield United and also Wigan having two uh, very, very good results at home. This is a way, and I think that is why Middlesbrough will comfortably get the victory. But they need to sort things out before they end up outside of the playoffs um, because it, things aren't going very well under Tony Mowbray. Millwall take on Nottingham Forest, and Nottingham Forest will only have themselves to blame for uh, throwing away a 3-0 lead at Carrow Road to draw three apiece. Millwall got their first win in what seems like an eternity, beating Reading 1-0 at the Den, and they are now outside of the playoffs with that victory. Outside of the relegation zone, rather. Um, this one is going to be interesting. Not on Forest. I tipped them to do really well this season, and it hasn't really happened. They've had times where they've been just outside the playoffs, but they've struggled to really break into those playoff positions. I think they'll win this one, though. I'm going to go 2-0 to Forest, winning at, uh, at the Den, and they could go as high as the playoffs if they were to get a victory here. Next, we have a very, very big game at Carra Road. Once again, Norwich, they'll be taking place, uh, taking on one of those teams from the East Midlands. This time, it will be Derby County. After a three-all draw with with uh, Nottingham Forest, uh, they've had three wins and two draws in their last five games, and they keep coming back. Never write off uh, Norwich. Derby, their form is good as well. Two wins, two draws and one defeat in their last five games. They need to get something from this game uh, if they want to avoid slipping out of the playoffs uh, with QPR and Birmingham, as well as sort of Nottingham Forest and Aston Villa all on their tail. Um, I think that they'll draw. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I don't think Norwich will be up there come the end of the season. No offense to Norwich fans. Um, so I'm going to go for a one all draw in that one. Uh, which would be a good point for Derby, I feel. Preston take on Aston Villa. And Preston, I was expecting to win at the weekend, but that did not happen. Uh, Aston Villa, they ended up winning uh, by the solitary goal against Swansea. 1-0 at finish. Uh, but they lost two games in a row now uh, for Preston. A 1-0 defeat against Sheffield Wednesday and a 2-1 defeat against Hull. I think it'll be three defeats in a row. Aston Villa are one of my favourites to go up, despite being in ninth place. I'm going to go 2-0 to Villa. And once again, they could also join the playoff pack if if um, Middlesbrough and Derby fail to uh, to pick up anything. QPR entertain Red in this one is only going to go one way, I feel, as well. And QPR could also join the playoffs with a win if results were to go their way. QPR have won three games in a row. Uh, now after a 3-0 thumping of Ipswich Town. Reading are currently in 23rd place uh, with no win in their last five games. It is key uh, that they get something in this one. Uh, they really need to start picking up. Jo Jose uh, Gomez has come in. He just suffered first his first defeat in his first game, losing 1-0 at Millwall. But having two players sent off with Bakuna and Blackett both sent off. Very, very disappointing for the Portuguese manager. Personally, I can't see Redding getting anything. I'm going to go another 3-0 victory to QPR. Redding, I fear for. I don't think they've made the right decision in going for an outsider when they could have gone with somebody that was understood the league, if you know what I mean. But these appointments have worked in the past. Farker, Wagner has done very well. Hassan Hustle's come in uh, from Germany and done very, very well at Southampton in the Premier League. Uh, so these appointments have worked uh, in the past, but there's also been some very bad appointments, like of Walter Zenga going in at Wolves. Uh, Sheffield United take on Blackburn, and this is going to be a very, very tough one for Sheffield uh, United, who won uh, the first game in three at the weekend uh, against Derby County. A 3-1 victory, a lovely victory in the end for Derby, and a very feisty game uh, between the two sides. 
Blackburn, they are currently in 14th position with only one win in their last five games and no wins in their last four games with two draws and to the feet they should have probably sent out that vi that victory against Leeds and ended up losing the game 3-2 I think this one will be tight once again I think Blackburn have a lot to offer this game but I think Sheffield United with their home form um, with the likes of McGoldrick, Billy Sharp and Clark will get the victory I'm going to go 2-1 to the Blades Swansea entertain Wigan. Wigan are in from some very, very bad form, and the wheels have totally come off. Uh, and Wigan were doing quite well uh, in the sort of top half uh, at the start of the season. Did very well, but they've totally collapsed. I mean, four losses in a row. It's not happening for Wigan at the minute, and they are just four points away from Bolton, who are in 22nd place. Absolutely massive game. Uh, for for Wigan, they need to start picking something up. Uh, Swansea, they're still mid table, 32 points in 13th place, two wins and three defeats in the last five games. I think Swansea will win this one. I'm going to go one nil to the Swans, and that would be a very, very, very good win for Swansea. Wigan, I'm starting to feel for. They have need to start getting players back from injury, and also they need to start maybe looking at some signings. Uh, to just keep away from the relegation zone. The final game. No games. Uh, all games kicking off at 3 o'clock here. Uh, no games moved for television. And it's West Brom versus Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday, they have done very well in recent week. Two wins on the bounce. First against Preston and then a 1-0 win at Middlesbrough. West Brom, they're going very well indeed. Three wins on the bounce uh, and are unbeaten in the last five games as well. So they're doing really, really well. And they are just three points off uh, Norwich now. And if they were to, to drop points against Derby, West Brom could really, really uh, come up behind them. I think they'll win this one. I think Sheffield Wednesday won't have enough to beat West Brom. I'm going to go 2-1 to West Brom and they are looking really really good in recent weeks Dwight Gale did go off with a knock hopefully he he can return for them because he is so so key to them but I'm going to go 2-1 to West Brom thanks so much for everyone who tuned in if you did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe also if you are new thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed my name is Mike and I will see you soon